Hello everybody, today is August 29th, 2019, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius. I am in front of the American Museum of Natural History, the largest natural history museum in the world, located in Theodore Roosevelt Park, across the street from Central Park. But right now I'm at 79th Street and Central Park West, otherwise known as 8th Avenue. You can see everybody here just uh, hanging out here. Nobody's being let inside right now because the museum is about to close. It is past 5 o'clock right now, 5.21 p.m. If you plan to come visit this museum, I suggest coming early because I've seen very long lines for this museum. The admission fee is currently $28, I believe, and that doesn't include the special ex exhibitions. They have their T-Rex exhibit right now. I've seen it uh, before and it's very, very ex exciting and has a lot of uh, interactive uh, displays. I advise you to check it out. Also a note, the American Museum of Natural History has a suggested admission. The amount you pay is up to you. You don't have to pay the full price. You can pay as little as one penny and you can still get a ticket to visit. But if you want to see these special exhibitions, you will have to pay extra. But anyway, on this video, I'll be taking you on a walk of the Upper West Side. What I'll do is I'll walk through Theodore Roosevelt Park, head west on 79th Street to Broadway, and then head on Broadway down to 77th Street, walking east back towards Central Park again. And then I'll head south to 72nd Street and walk uh, 72nd Street back to Broadway. Maybe then I'll walk to Lincoln Center as well. But this is 81st Street. The M79 Select Bus Service runs along 81st Street and uh, 79th Street. It's one of the few options for going cross town uh, via public transportation. There aren't any subway lines that go across town here. You have to take buses. I've just entered Theodore Roosevelt Park. It's a really nice uh, neighborhood park. It has a lot of trees and shade. The um, entrance to the American Museum, uh, American Museum's planetarium is here. It's part of the Museum of Natural History. So if you buy a ticket for the Natural History Museum, you gain access to the planetarium as well. The sun makes it a really poor view here, but let me get out of the sun so I could point the camera up. All right, much better. But that's the view of the planetarium, uh, Big Bang Theater, I believe. Looks like a giant globe. That um, theater inside the um, planetarium, you do have to pay extra for. That's not included in the suggested admission ticket. They do have parking here, but it is a little pricey considering it is on the museum's property. They are doing some renovations to Theodore Roosevelt Park here. Keep in mind, this isn't the only video that I have on the 
Upper West Side, although I believe it is the first narrated video. I have ones of Columbus Avenue, Broadway, 72nd Street, and I believe Amsterdam Avenue as well. You can go and check those out. But just some facts about the Upper West Side in general. The Upper West Side spans from 59th Street to 110th Street. And it's sometimes abbreviated as UWS. It's actually a primarily residential neighborhood. Many of its residents re uh, work in Midtown and Lower Manhattan. And it's the center of the city's cultural and intellectual uh, activity with Columbia University, Barnard College in the area, Lincoln Center at um, 65th Street and Broadway. So I'll go this way. This is the exit to um, 80th Street and Columbus Avenue. I like Columbus Avenue because it has a lot of activity and a lot of businesses and restaurants, unlike Central Park West, which is primarily residential. Here we see people riding their bicycles on the Columbus Avenue bike lane. This is what happens when there's construction. The city made it so that the construction and contractor uh, companies need to accommodate the bicycle riders. So they split the lane in two, the left for pedestrians and the right for bicycles. And we see that it's not being observed right now. Even though this is painted a bike lane, this is actually the pedestrian lane, which is very, very odd. They could have really done this a little bit better, but it is what it is. And then the bike lane is like sloppily done over here. But anyway, you need to look both ways, no bicycles. Now I'm going to walk along 79th Street. So I know many of you are interested in the real estate prices for this neighborhood. And here we have a real estate agency. Let's see how much some of these properties are. Three bedroom facing Riverside Park for $2.2 million and 81st Street Brownstone for $4.7 million. Four bedroom home for $3.6 million. Private Terrace for $6.9 million. These seem to be a little bit more affordable, under $2 million. We have uh, $1.2 million, but that's in East Chester, that's in the Bronx. And there's a two bedroom for $1.1 million. So that's actually a lot more affordable than the other um, ones that I showed you. If you're interested in buying property here, I advise you to contact this real estate agency or uh, another website like Zillow or Trulia, I believe. Seventy Nine Street is one of the widest streets, uh, widest crosstown streets in Manhattan. I also like the architecture along Seventy Nine Street. You have a lot of old um, brownstone buildings and European style, very ornate designs. This um, canopy is blocking it right now, but I like this. Um, the floral um, designs of these columns. 
and I believe those are Doric columns, Greek, uh, Greek architecture. This is how New York City does their garbage and recycling collection. They just put the bags curbside until the sanitation department picks it up, usually the same day or the next day. Where I'm from in Astoria, the sanitation department picks up twice a week. I know in um, Manhattan, sometimes these big buildings, the sanitation department will collect as often as three times a week. This is very cool, the Manchester house. Look at that design there with the, uh, the two griffins and this ship here. Very cool. And then we got another one here with a, um, a shield and two dragons. Well, I'm not sure if those are dragons, but very, very pretty. I like this property just across the street from me. It's very uh, small compared to the buildings on either side of it. Okay, here's Amsterdam Avenue and 79th Street. You can see the Central Park Tower being constructed in the background there. That's on 57th Street. It's been controversial because um, opponents say that it will block out a lot of Central Park sunlight that many of the vegetation and plants desperately need there. Here we see the um, either the doorman or the bellhop assisting residents or guests with their luggage and other belongings. It's one of the perks of having a uh, residence here. You have a doorman which helps you with packages and announces when guests will arrive. Some more unique buildings across the street. a body workplace across the street, a laundromat. Here's an eyeglass store and a pharmacy. Here we have the Dublin House and Bar. We have two people walking their dogs here. Here's uh, DSW, the designer shoe warehouse. That's what the initials stand for. That across the street is the First Baptist Church. You don't belong on this planet. You ungodly abomination. I mean, if someone's dick hurts you, what the fuck? Crying about my motherfucking dick. Just waiting for the light to change here. There we have the M79 bus going cross town. Oh 
Okay, I didn't want to comment on that person who just crossed the street there, but he was a very interesting character. Young kids, watch your language. Don't follow his uh, lead. This here is the um, a reconstruction of the subway entrance at 77th Street and um, Broadway. Well, actually, the subway station name is 77th Street, but there's an exit at 79th Street. It's the 79th Street exit that's being worked on. It's better not to comment about uh, mentally unstable people or people who clearly have lost their mind because they may turn their aggression towards you. In New York, it's not common to speak on a subway car because people are just minding their own business, listening to headphones and reading, and you never know when you might tick somebody off by looking at them the wrong way or talking something about a topic that no one likes, especially politics. And then you'll get some nasty stares and uh, hostility towards you. I wouldn't recommend it. Here's a Marshalls, a discount uh, store. They sell a lot of um, unsold merchandise from the big box stores like Macy's and I've seen some from like Brooks Brothers and uh, Ralph Lauren. But keep in mind that I did read some news articles saying that Marshall's stores, they actually have certain brands make clothing specifically for them and they never um, go through the big box stores and get resold as clearance as uh, you might believe. So make sure you check the quality before you buy it. Across the street is the Hotel Bella Claire. Very impressive building. Don't know too much about it, but there it is. I'm going to walk west on 77th Street now, back to Central Park. This is more of a residential street, but I just want to show you more of the um, neighborhood. I also want to go back to the Central Park area because um, I'd like to see the uh, New York Historical Society. This is the neighborhood's firehouse, Engine 74. Sounds like there's actually an emergency right now. Sounds like an ambulance siren. Oh, we just might find out right now. It's coming up Amsterdam Avenue. Mount Sinai Hospital. And Lenox Hill Hospital. Both prominent hospitals in the area. Here I am back on Amsterdam Avenue. There's Chirping Chicken across the street and there's a Soul Cycle location right here. There's actually been a lot of these um, creative fitness companies like Soul Cycle and Zumba uh, popping up lately. I know it's very popular with um, residents of this neighborhood as well as New York City in general.
There's a playground. Looks like the sprinklers are on and people are having fun along with their children. Got some nice brownstones there. I like that corner house with the, um, the staircase that's horizontal, parallel to the sidewalk. Here we have some people playing basketball. One of these people will grow up to be Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant when they grow up. I just know it. Looks like the ambulance is still coming up, Amsterdam. I hope whoever they're responding to is all right and they get the help they need. So I'm gonna continue my walk on 77th Street. It's a nice little block. You got some neighborhood trees here. Um, nice vegetation too. People keep their front lawns very nice around here. It's very tidy. Back there, I forgot to mention too, was a dog walker. Don't know if that's the owner or someone they hired, but it's very common for people here to hire dog walkers. I've seen dog walkers walk as many as um, six dogs at a time, although they're small dogs. I think I'll be overwhelmed with just one dog, even if it is a small dog. Looks like someone's throwing out a... Uh, is that something metal? I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like a mailbox. Okay. Those kind of like large bulky items, they require a special pickup from the sanitation department. The sanitation department doesn't always pick up like uh, large bulky metals or air conditioners and sofas just le left on the curb like that. You have to call them and then they'll schedule a pickup. Okay, I'm back at 77th Street and uh, Columbus Avenue. Going to a baseball game. This is the southwestern corner of the American Museum of Natural History. I'm going to cross the street here. Actually, this block has some good sunshine. I'm going to walk down here just a little bit. Maybe I'll make a left on um, 76th Street instead. the Peruvian connection, artesian apparel.
I think the whole neighborhood has trash pickup today. I'm pretty sure that's intentional because it makes it a lot easier for the sanitation workers to just come down one route, pick up all the trash and then return back the other way. I've heard sometimes for these large residential buildings with like 10 floors or more that one pickup can fill up a whole truck. That's hard to believe. I like this block a lot, it has a lot of natural shade. The uh, artwork on these homes is very uh, delicate and intricate. Although as beautiful as these uh, properties are, you can still see some signs of aging. Weathering has gotten to a lot of these uh, properties and you can see some mold and mildew growing on the outside. There's some cracks here. It's all the downsides of owning property in New York City. Well, not only in New York City, but uh, anywhere in the world, you have to deal with maintenance and upkeep. To my left is the New York Historical Society, but there's no entrance on um, 76th Street. I actually need to go to um, Central Park West in order to get to it. It's actually um, New York's first museum, founded in 1804. And this building has been in its, in its present location since 1908. So, can you believe that? Here it is, you can see it's more impressive from the front. From the side, there weren't, weren't all those columns there. But it's a granite building designed by York and Sawyer in a classic Roman eclectic style. Here you see George Washington, or at least a cutout of him riding a horse. And there's the front entrance of the New York Historical Society. All right, time to walk down to 72nd Street and then make a right to Broadway. This bike lane across the street is recently installed. Actually, I'm going to go check it out. Let's walk across the street and take a look. The installation of this bike lane wasn't without resistance though. A lot of the residents here opposed it because um, it would remove a lot of the parking spaces and they didn't think cyclists deserved this bike lane. But I do believe the community needed it because um, there were a lot of injuries and a death here 
by an Australian tourist. I think it was last year that she was um, horrifically killed on this street, Central Park West. And um, let me just show you Central Park for a little bit from up here. It is a little bit dark now because the sun is starting to get lower in the sky. But you could probably see the lake from where I showed you at the um, vantage point of Central Park. It's a lot of construction and renovations happening here. Look at this. They've got scaffolding up and temporary staircases going all the way to the roof of this building. Holy smokes. When I talked about property maintenance, I wasn't lying. Oh, we got a better view over here. There you've got the lake and the central, um, the central loop. People jogging there, riding their bicycles. You see, just walking south on Central Park West, I see this bike lane being used a lot. Look at this, there's even a little child using the bike lane and so many commuters. And the community was against it for a long time. This goes to show you why the bike lane is needed. For ignorant people who live here and say that, oh, nobody uses the bike lane, it takes away parking spaces and whatnot. I just counted like at least eight people using the bike lane in less than a minute. And if that goes for more safety, then it's all the better in the for the neighborhood. Even myself, when I was riding here on uh, Central Park West, and it might have even been 72nd Street, I was in the, the uh, shared bike lane and then there was a car that like caught me too close from the right side. It was very, very scary. It just passed me within inches. I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone. Oh, just a um, quick note about those museums back there. There is a program by the um, Bank of America credit cards and debit cards if you own one. It's called the Museums on Us program. And if you use, if you show the card along with a picture ID on the first weekend of the month, you can get free admission to the American Museum of Natural History as well as the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It won't work for every museum, but they do have a good, good uh, number of museums participating. 
you can check it out on their website. Of course, I don't know how long the program will last or if it will continue for future years, but presently it's being offered as a very nice perk. I've visited many museums for free using that method. So remember, first weekend of the month, if you have a Bank of America credit or debit card, you can get into a lot of museums and cultural attractions for free. And I just walked past the Dakota building, like, without even mentioning it. But thankfully I remembered. This is the building where the late Beatle John Lennon, John Lennon was tragically murdered outside. I've also done a narrated video of 72nd Street. You can check that video out. So I won't be talking a fair bit about 72nd Street in this video. But yeah, it's very tragic that um, it wasn't too long ago either that he was murdered. Here we have two bicycles locked to each other. That's very interesting. They must be part of the same um, restaurant or maybe the same owner. Unless they did that purposely. And in that case, someone's gonna have a nice surprise when he gets back. I've had that happen to me before when parking my bicycle on the Upper East Side. There was a restaurant, uh, restaurant who used their lock and locked their um, bicycle along with mine to the post. I had to wait for the, for the delivery person to come out before I could um, leave. So that was an experience. On a positive note, I was able to get some free food from the restaurant as a consolidation. So. It wasn't too bad. Okay, back to Columbus Avenue. This super shuttle is actually a airport shuttle. I think that's going to Newark Airport, although I could be wrong. Wow, I can't believe it's already six o'clock already, according to that clock on the corner of the bank. Looks like UPS is getting some deliveries at the UPS store. That's what happens when you drop your package off. It doesn't magically like transport itself to where, you need, where it needs to go. Mr. Brown needs to come and pick it up. Here's we got a mattress 
out and ready for pickup. Looks like a very big mattress as well. Now this block coming up is where I have fond memories because it was the day of the Manhattan blackout or the partial Manhattan blackout. Let me just look up the date of when that happened. It happened on July 13th, 2019 around 7 p.m. I was dining at a restaurant across the street, I might have passed it already. Yeah, I did, I passed it already, but what happened was I got a notification on my phone that there was a blackout in Manhattan from 42nd Street all the way up to 71st Street, and I was dining on 72nd Street. So after I finished my meal, the restaurant wasn't able to accept my credit card because it had problems with the payment system. I had to pay with cash instead. And then I walked myself all the way down Broadway to Times Square and saw all the chaos. You can check that video out too. Yeah. It's a moment I, I won't forget. Just so happened I was in the right place at the right time. If I wasn't in Manhattan at that time, I would have completely missed the blackout because I can't even travel here unless I like take my bicycle or get some a car service or something. And now you'll get to see me walk Broadway on a normal day without any chaos and blackout. This is how the Upper West Side normally is. Here we have Ray's Papaya, discount um, food place. Here we have Mattress Firm. What is the heart? Here's the Cafe Metro, it's coming soon. Looks like a breakfast and lunch place. I like the shape of this building on 70th Street and Broadway. Kind of looks like the Flatiron Building at 23rd and 5th from this angle. Here we have a, um, a stall 
where Mexican food. And back there we had someone asking for change so we could buy a sandwich. I find that very, very sad to see. At a restaurant uh, giving out free samples. Look like nachos with guacamole on it. Very delicious. I love this design here with the two lions. Kind of reminds me of the main branch of the New York, New York Public Library at 41st Street and 5th Avenue. I think I'll cross the street here just to change it up a little bit. That in the distance is one of New York City's ambulances. That siren is fairly new. I believe um, there was a redesign of the siren because people couldn't really understand the sirens when uh, listening from long range. That high low tone is more, uh, more audible in longer distances, but throughout longer distances I should say. People have actually um, taken to some much compliments on that siren That's because right. they claim that it's a um, no, lower noise profile than the old sirens. There you have the AMC theater at 68th Street and Broadway, one of the biggest movie theaters in the area. There's TD Bank. This is the Apple store of the Upper West Side. Almost about to hit Lincoln Center at 65th Street. And that's where I'll end this video. Unless the battery ends up running out first, which I assume might happen soon, so I'm going to get a move on. Getting a move on for those of you who are watching and don't understand what that means. Basically means I need to hurry up and speed up because I need to finish. This is the 66th Street. Oh my goodness. Looks like I'm replacing the battery now. I'll come back to you soon. Okay, battery's been replaced, but we need to wait. Or can we go? because there's no cars coming. Come on, wait. All right, looks like we have to wait. Wait, 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 wait. 
thing I've got a fan here. They know what the deal is. Here we've got La Art del Gelato. Cash only for the gelato, but it's very, very delicious. Here we've got the Juilliard School. But Lincoln Center is a very, very large performing arts venue and event center. Very often they'll actually have free events throughout the city as well. Are we going to have to wait? No, we're not going to have to wait. There's still time on the crosswalk. I should have walked that other way so I can show you some of the events that are happening right now at Lincoln Center. They have some of those uh, posters up. The sun's completely out right now. It actually destroys the view that I wanted to end this video at, but it is what it is. But here it is, the main area of Lincoln Center, famous for its fountain and the main building surrounding it. The David Koch building, the David Geffen Hall, and the Met Opera. Anyway, this ends this video. If you enjoyed this long walk of the Upper West Side, be sure to give this video a like. Comment down below what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Turn on the notifications so you know when I'll post a new video. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.